river, river mouth. Very generic name for a river. Big river though. Mendocino Headland State Park. You had to wake up pretty early this morning. Took uh, three and a half hours to get here. It's nice though. Driving through the redwoods and all the mountainous roads for the second half. Vineyards and ranches. Freaking beautiful. I've only taken the coast up to here before, so majority of it was new once you get past, you know, Santa Rosa and uh, Healdsburg and all that. And cut west towards the ocean. It's gonna be awesome. Going about eight miles up the river and then I'm gonna wrap back around Cut into the forest a little bit. But yeah, taking an old logging road. Apparently this area has logged pretty heavily for 150 years and they're currently restoring it to prevent landslides and just destruction of the natural environment in general. If you listen through the sound of that stream behind me, you can hear a ton of frogs up on the mud banks. Little marshy lands. Yeah, the fog through the mountains coming into here. Oh, love it. Freaking love it. Nothing like some Vesa Pampas grass. Man, I feel like I saw this a lot as a youngin on the coast of Santa Cruz. I feel like they got it. Did a good job getting rid of a lot of it. At least from what I've noticed. I remember at elementary school, we'd fight for the bigger, heftier stalks. The little fluffy, wispy ends. And just slice the crap out of your hands on the more serrated grasses. Fun times. One last look back before I lose that bridge that I came in on. Should have probably shown the ocean when I arrived. Weird. This might be from some logging quarry, whatnots. Yeah, yeah, it is a quarry. It's 1893. Huh. Rocks for logging roads. There we go. So we get away from the coast. Starting to get a little more mountainous and redwoody again. Ferns for days. And some of the valleys of ferns when you're driving in here. My god. Highway 128. That might be up there in my top three favorite highways now. Check out this cute little stream of waterfalls. These little hidey holes carved out by the water. So that was last up here, really June 2021. And uh, explored Russian Gulch, which is not too far north of here, 15 miles or so. That's a pretty sweet area. Broad deer gin trees, little Gulch, of course, of a creek running through salmon berries everywhere that time of year. Nice waterfall at the end. Pretty neat. I think next place I check out here is probably the Van Dam Little Reserve, which is right across the river. I'm curious what these little wooden remnants of piers and stuff were for. They stack logs up there and then just float them down the river. It's actually pretty crazy how little openings are on the trees on this road. The river's been very obscured. So it looks like the train is actually right along the river. Wow. Interesting. They would also dam the river in portions and then have water just flood all the logs down to the mill. 
Go back in time and just witness that for a couple days. I'm sure there's a lot of wild saloons late at night too. Also love huckleberry bushes. They're just massive coming out of there here. The fern under foliage. That's what I want to plant. Huckleberries and ferns. That's a better look at that marshland. So many mallard ducks over there. It's like 90% male too. Huh. All the bros are just hanging out. Damn, camera took too long to turn on. Missed all the mallards. Cube Jurassic Park. No, 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 no. Holy <laughs> shit, freaking pretty. And can't go any further unless I want to get wet. Oh, I'm glad I'm gonna be looking at this for a while. Already worth a three and a half hour drive. This little cut off area looks pretty sweet. I'd camp right here. Oh yeah. You can really see where the tracks were right there. Wonder if we can get a better look. Eh, see a little better. See where the tracks is laid right on top. Look at this marshy area. Feels like I'm suddenly in Minnesota. Oh, there's a little trail over to those track remnants. There's one convenient new place to jump onto, get on the bank. I envision myself slipping off that if I were to do that right now, though. Huh. You're like a bruised banana. This flooded redwood area is pretty freaking awesome. You sick of ferns yet? I'm not. About five miles deep now. Three or four more in, and then I'm going to turn around, but go up and then rejoin this road eventually further back. Cool little rope swing across the river there. I'm assuming there's quicker access to get there. Huh. Look at these big piers. It's probably one of the spots where they dammed it and then let the water rush through.
check out the wetlands through here. That feels more like some Yellowstone or Pacific Northwest kind of stuff. All these old freaking bogs. Huh. Hey look, there's even a cute parking spot to come check this out at. <laughs> what kind of amphibian life is swimming around in here. Neato. Look what my dumbass just did. I thought this was gonna be way more solid, but uh, it's straight up just mud. It's sulfury, fucking gross. I'm now just covered in mud. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's the um, horse and never ending story called again? Still not sick of burns. Oops, snapping branches and living in the ferns. Sun's actually breaking through the overcast a little finally. Here we go, some wild fennel. Mmm. Licorice smell. Looks like there's a little rock slide here recently. The creek's super still. A lot quieter in here. Denser. A bit spooky. Old growth redwoods, once they get tall enough, a lot of the undergrowth and smaller trees get wiped away for lack of sun. So they're bigger trees with wider spaces in between them, on average. But this whole place is far from old growth. Huh, remnants of something. Old train car? What am I looking at? Where this tracks? Off that logging road and we're on an actual trail now. Still along the river. Nice. This is a nice change. A little more wild feeling. Yeah, I like how lush this is. Mentally debating for myself if I want to just avoid going that other route that I'll add on another couple miles, I believe. And just go back the way I came. Can all the shells just be one big loop, you know? Jeez. This deer got freaking mauled. Well, that's, that's lovely. I wonder how recent that was. And by what? Here we go. Here's an old rail in the forest. They really logged the whole entire river, didn't they? Over eight miles in now. Apparently drier times of the year you can actually cross here. Maybe not. <laughs> Look at this muddy leaf of land. You know what, I think I am just going to go back, mostly the way I came. I'm not going to do that little detour. It's going to end up being an 18 mile hike. 
some more mangled track action. Oh, I think this is where my path turns around. Could keep going down this for quite a ways. Or you could go up the hill here, which I originally was planning, but scrapping that now. These are trippy. It's like coral fungi. I'm gonna conclude the hike in this direction. It's nine miles back. Pretty much all the same. Unless something happens, I doubt it. But catch you on the next one. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.